Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana and today I'm going to be doing my second Printful review but this time it's going to be with all the hoodies and sweatshirts that I've ordered over time from my previous store because I know that ordering samples can get pretty pricey so hopefully this will save you some money. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So first I'm going to talk about the sweatshirts that I ordered. The first being the Gildan 18,000 it's this one specifically. I got this one in a size large. Usually I fit in a size small, but I like ordering mediums just so that they're a bit more oversized and just comfortable. For this one, I actually really love the Gildan sweatshirts. They're not super thin. They're also not super thick. I think they have the right amount of bagginess. Um, I think that was more of what I was going for. I don't really like how fitted sweatshirts look on me. Therefore, I thought that this was the perfect style for what I was going for. It's definitely a bit baggy, but keep in mind this is a large, so even a medium I think would fit pretty comfortably. It's great because it's pretty long so it's really great to wear with leggings. However, if I want to make it more stylish, it's also really easy just to like tuck up under my bra and then it kind of looks like a crop top. So I really love the versatility of it. I also love how baggy it was as I said and I just think it's a very comfortable fit. Also the embroidery turned out super well. And so although Gildan gets a lot of hate, I actually really liked it. Not only that, but it's also one of the least expensive options on Printful. Therefore, I can provide them at a more affordable price for my customers. I guess the only real downside to Gildan though, is if you are going to print DTG, uh, because it is not 100% cotton, the print doesn't always show up the best. Sometimes it can look a bit vintage, for lack of a better word. So for instance, if you look at this black sweatshirt that I ordered, it's also Gildan and it's a dark color. And because I was trying to print white on a dark color, it doesn't really show up very resilient. It looks more like a gray. And while it still looks good, I think it's just something to keep in mind when you are going to be offering it to people, just so that they don't expect such a resilient white. But for embroidery, it's a 10 out of 10. So the next one that I ordered was the unisex fleece pullover. It's the Cotton Heritage M2480 and this one I got in a medium so it's a size down from the Gildan that I just showed you. Now I must admit that this one is definitely a bit thicker. It does seem like it's nicer quality than the Gildan. However, I just didn't like how it fit. I just thought that the bands on the wrist were too tight. I also thought it was too tight on the lower band where it meets the hips. I just didn't like that look. This one's definitely a lot longer than it is wide. Obviously that's what you would expect but I would say the Gildan's a bit more proportional and for someone who's short, I would rather it be more proportional than long because otherwise it just, it just makes my body look weird. However, I would still wear it out. It's just personal preference. Another wonderful thing about this Cotton Heritage one is that it is 100% cotton, so you don't have that other like gray effect as you did with the Gildan. In other words, all your whites, even if it's printed on black, is gonna show up very vibrant as you can see here. There are no issues and everything just prints very smoothly. So if that part's important to you, then maybe this is an option to consider. I prefer the Gildan and I just prefer that comfort baggy look. So now on to hoodies. Staying along in the same family, I did order the unisex premium hoodie, which is another cotton heritage, this time it's the M2580. Again, it's in a size medium. And as you would expect, it had pretty much the same problems, but it's also of the same quality. In other words, this is probably the thickest sweatshirt that I did order. I think I ordered about three different ones. So if you're looking for thickness and quality, this one was really nice. But again, I just wasn't really a big fan of how tight it was on my wrist as well as on the hips. I just it felt a little uncomfortable and constraining. Now if I did tuck in my hoodie a little bit, obviously that allowed for greater flexibility, but I think that problem shouldn't be there in the first place. As far as the size of the hoodie goes, I thought it was a good size. It fit over my head, maybe a little small for some people. I don't have the biggest head in the world. <laughs> Now this hoodie does come with like these strings, um, however the ones on these as you can see in the video are actually very large. Um, they're just very thick and wide and they're folded over at the end so there's no metal detailing. However, in the hole that they do come out of it is lined with like some silver detailing. So overall the hoodie does look nice. Again, it just wasn't one of my favorites because of the tightness around the waist and the hip band. But for some of you who are looking for a more fitted style, I think this might be a great choice. Because again, there was also no problems with the actual printing either. So my absolute favorite of all the hoodies was the unisex eco hoodie that I got and it's by Stanley and Stella. I got it in a size large and at the time it was, I think it had just been added to the Printful site. So mine actually shipped from Europe, which is where it gets a little confusing because I did order a large, but when I go to look at the tag on it, it says it's a European large and a US medium. So now that they are actually shipping it from America, I'm not really sure what that means for the sizes. So obviously, I love that it is eco-friendly. It fits so, so well. It's the perfect amount of bagginess and length and just comfort. It is a very nice, thick material. Of course, the downside is it is one of the more expensive options on there. Just like all the other hoodies, it does have a front pocket. 
Also, I mean, the length of the arms was a bit long and the whole hoodie itself was long, but I mean, I ordered a large. I'm sure if I ordered a medium, things would have been a little bit different and maybe would have fit a little better. But again, I'm not going for the fitted look, so it doesn't really matter. The hoodie also fit pretty well. I had enough space around my head. Again, I'm not using the hoodie very much, but as you can see, the hoodie was not an issue for me. But of course I ordered a large, so I don't know if that's gonna make any difference. I don't know how it would fit on a male's head just because I didn't test it out. Another thing that I thought made this hoodie super high quality is the detailing. So this one also has like the silver detailing around the holes where the strings come out of and the strings are like a normal size and they have some silver detailing as well so it just looks a little more expensive. Also with this one there are absolutely no issues with DTG printing. It, everything looks great and vibrant and it does not look vintage so to speak. So that's why I'd say this one's actually my favorite. But of course, if we're looking for that compromise between affordability and quality, I think the best way to go is with the Gildan 18,500. It's the one I'm wearing now. This is an extra large though, so it is so, so big. Keep that in mind. I just was playing around with the sizes. Um, but again, it's very similar quality to the crew neck and it fits very similarly as well. As you can see, the sleeves are very long as well as the hoodie itself. But again, I did order an extra large. It does have a front pocket. I definitely say this hoodie is on the thinner side, however I wouldn't say it's thin. So it still provides enough warmth, which is all you really need. The hoodie, I know there are a lot of complaints that the hoodies are actually too small. Because I ordered an extra large, it fit on my head, but I could see how there would be problems if you're an average hoodie user. I do think that the space between your neck or the baseline of the shirt and the top of the hoodie can be a bit small, so it might not be the most flattering look. But if you're not someone who wears a hoodie a lot, I don't think it's that big of a deal. This one does not come with any detailing on the front, however, it does have these strings as most hoodies do anyway. And the strings are basically just like shoelaces. It ends with a, oh, what's that called? That Phineas and Ferb. Ah, the aglet. Now, the only thing similar to the Gildan crew neck is that for prints, it might not look super sharp. As you saw in the back, it might be hard to tell, but the print that I did want done was white. However, because it is a very strong color that I'm putting it on, it did kind of like not bleed, but it just shows up more pink than it does white. So I think that's just something to keep in mind. I also think that just happens with the bolder, brighter colors. Again, embroidery I think would be 10 out of 10 on this. I don't see any problems with it. And overall, I did like this fit a lot just because it's comfortable, it's baggy, and I think it fits most body shapes. So that's basically it for all the hoodies and the sweatshirts that I ordered from Printful. Again, I really don't think that you can go wrong with any of these products. I think it just kind of comes down to the look that you're going for. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time. Good luck with your shop. Bye.